The five biggest college football games this Saturday, September the 28th. Week 5 is here. We've got your top 25 previews, free selections, my proprietary database simulation, and oh yeah, Georgia, Alabama is included. That's coming up free for you in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, and this is your weekly top 25 college football report when I do a deep dive into each and every one of the top 25 head-to-head matchups, and we have four of them this Saturday, September the 28th, and a fifth bonus game in which we have a 25th versus 26th ranked team. I'm going to give you that late night game on the way out here between Boise and Washington State, but first, let's look at the four biggest games. We're going to break down Oklahoma State, Kansas State, Louisville, Notre Dame, Georgia, Alabama. Illinois, Penn State in that order. Let's start in time start order. Your early kickoff at noon Eastern on ESPN is number 20, Oklahoma State at number 23, Kansas State. And we'll start as I do each and every week. I simulate every game on the board 10,000 times through my database and spreadsheet model. And I come out with an average margin of victory. It gives us a great starting point to find out where there's line value. And in this situation, there's no line value. I actually project a five-point Kansas State win on average. And that's exactly what Kansas State is, is a five-point favorite as we check the Wager Talk live odd screen. But as we dig a little bit deeper, I do like Kansas State in this game. Uh, Once again, as long as we're getting a fair line and the situation and matchup is favorable, it's still worthy of a selection. And that's the case here with Kansas State. Let's look first at Oklahoma State. They're coming off a bad loss last week as a home favorite against Utah, in which they actually had the turnover edge, but got outrushed 249-48 to on the ground. And keep in mind, they had that misleading win against Arkansas a few weeks earlier at home, in which they had a 3-1 turnover edge, 1-8, by eight, failed to cover there as well, and got outrushed 232-59 to 59 on the ground. And now they face a Kansas State team who's also coming off a very bad loss as a touchdown favorite at BYU. But if you recall, I did a standalone solo video last week right here on Wager Talk TV for that late night game. And I said that I recommended BYU. I thought the scheduling setup favored the Cougars, along with some line value. Kansas State wasn't used to the thin air and altitude, and it showed. 3-0 turnover deficit, but they still outrushed BYU 228 to 92, and they've had over 228 rushing yards, actually over 215 rushing yards or more in all four games this season. So a substantial edge on the line of scrimmage for Kansas State, especially the rushing game. Even though the line is where I projected at minus five, I like K-State here in this early kickoff game at noon Eastern Saturday on ESPN. All right, let's look at your next game. It goes at 3.30 Eastern on the Peacock Network between Louisville and Notre Dame. And in this one, I project Notre Dame by 11.5 points. So we do get some line value uh, based on the current line, which is currently right around uh, 6.5 to 7. In fact, as I record this video on Thursday afternoon, uh, Wager Talk Live odd screen is lighting up. Notre Dame has gone from 6.5 to minus 7 across the board. So a little bit of less line value, but once again, my database projects an 11.5 point win. So I agree with that sharp money move that came in Thursday afternoon on Notre Dame. And I do think they're the preferred side in this game for several reasons. Not just the line value, but it's also a spotlight revenge spot. It's also probably the most important game remaining for Notre Dame to make the playoffs this year. So this will be a focus spot as they lost to Louisville just a year ago in early October as a six-point road favorite, 33-20. to And that loss definitely lingers. It stung them last year. This is a focus spot, and we get some line value on top of that. So let's dig even a bit deeper and see if Louisville with that 3-0 start is for real. Not so sure. They only had 63 rushing yards last week against Georgia Tech, and they have not turned the ball over this year. But they played all three games at home. Teams playing their first road game this late in the season, it's normally a negative scheduling spot. And the fact that they haven't had a turnover, now they're on the road for the first time, hostile environment. I think things could get ugly here for Louisville, maybe a little bit sloppy. Uh, Notre Dame, meanwhile, prevented a perfect sweep for us on Saturday. We laid the 27, they won by 25. Otherwise, we would have had a perfect 100% sweep. Still 10-4 and four overall in college and pro football the last two weeks on best bets. Be 11-3 and three otherwise. But I do like this Notre Dame team. Uh, they won 66-7 against Purdue the week before. That is just a seven-point road favorite. Underrated, explosive Notre Dame team that can pull away late here and cover. I have Notre Dame winning this game by double digits. <clears throat> That's at 3.30 Eastern on the Peacock Network. Hey, comment below. Do you subscribe to Peacock? Do you pay for it? Or is it not worth the squeeze? Comment below. I read all the comments. I reply back. All right, two big night games at 7.30 Eastern. Georgia, Alabama, Illinois, Penn State. Also that bonus top 26 game, Washington State, Boise State. That's all coming up in a moment. But a quick reminder, if you want my personal best bets, check them out right now. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. I mentioned the 10-4 and run the last two weeks in college and pro football, and it should be no surprise. 
I entered this season with the most units won the last two years combined, ATS Profit, College and Pro Football at Wager Talk. And I'm crushing it in baseball right now. 31-11 and 11 baseball run as we head closer to the playoffs. NBA starts in less than a month. I'm number one the last three years combined in NBA profit. College Hoops was number one a couple years ago. I know what you're thinking. Do I choose baseball, football, basketball? How do I get it all? What's well, quite simple. You get an all sports, all access. And now is the time to do it with all the major sports about to be in full swing. In fact, in the next month is the only time all year you can get baseball, football, and basketball all going at the same time. So an all sports, all access is a no-brainer. And this weekend, it's a no-brainer because when you buy three months, you get the fourth month included for free this weekend only. That's an instant $299 added value. Buy the three month. We include the fourth month for free. That gets you into the end of January. Or if you missed out the last few weeks and you've been sitting on the sidelines watching winter after winter pass you by with the one-year all-access, I'm bringing the promo code back again. Instant $800 discount with promo code SM365. That's the one-year all-access. Gets it down to just $3 a day, just about a dollar a play at wagertalk.com. So once again, if you buy the three months, you get the fourth month free. Or if you're ready for the full-year investment approach, Try SM365 as your promo code at checkout on the one year all access. Now, you don't have to memorize these or decide right now. Go to my page, view the different specials and promo codes, figure out which one works best for you. But whatever you do, don't sit on the sidelines and watch another winning weekend pass you by. We have been crushing it in college and pro football, not only this season, but for 29 years I've done this as a full time professional. Check out my strong best bets for this Saturday. I love this college football card. This Sunday's NFL is strong once again as well. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. All that stuff's on my homepage, the best bets, the daily free play. Don't forget a daily free play every day with analysis, and then the specials and promo codes as well. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Hey, get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. All right, those are your daytime games, top 25 Saturday. Let's look at the nighttime games. They both go at 730 Eastern, and there's no question the biggest game so far this season, perhaps of the entire season, is number two Georgia at number four Alabama, 730 Eastern. ABC National TV. Let's start with my database simulation, Alabama by six. That's right. My database simulation, 10,000 games, Alabama wins by six on average. So yes, there is some line value with Alabama as a rare, and we do mean rare home dog. I believe it's the first time since 2007 that Bama's been a home dog. You can double check that. I do know this for sure. If you take out the two Bama wins the last few seasons, Georgia's gone 46-0 and straight up in all other games. In fact, you have to go back to November of 2020, almost four years ago, that Georgia's lost any other team other than Alabama. 46 and 0, well, 46 and 2 since they lost to Florida back in November of 20, but they're 0 and 2 against Alabama. Now, I know that was Nick Saban. He's not there anymore, but the boy's a pretty good coach as well. And you also have to wonder if that second half rally against South Florida a couple games back was the buy sign for this new coaching staff, the new program. A little bit of a learning curve early, as you would expect. Uh, But they really routed South Florida there in the fourth quarter. Routed Wisconsin 42-10. Very impressive win on the road. And they have the bye week as well. Meanwhile, Georgia looked pretty good against Clemson and Tennessee Tech, 82-6. But then as a 22-point favorite, only beat Kentucky 13-12. And that is a concern because that was a legitimately close game. Georgia only had 102 rushing yards, only 160 passing yards. And keep in mind, Kentucky allowed South Carolina to put up 31 points the week before that. So... I do think this Georgia offense could be a little bit suspect right now. The Alabama defense is very strong. Their offense is great as well. Yes, Georgia has a great uh, defense also. The total, by the way, in this game is around 48.5. But then on Thursday afternoon, we saw it spike up to 49.5, even 50. Some of that obviously has to do with the weather. Um, The Hurricanes passing through on Friday. So I think some of that's a weather play bumping it higher. But yeah, two really good defenses. And I am a little concerned about that Georgia offense. And once again, my database simulation favors Alabama by six. So I do think Alabama is a live dog. By the way, I did a standalone video for this as well here on Wager Talk TV. And I mentioned that Bama is a public dog, but they're a sharp dog also. That's why this line is dropping. The look ahead line at Circa in June this summer was five. A couple weeks ago was four. Now it's two. And I agree with it going lower because I think Alabama wins outright. Hey, comment below. What are your thoughts on this Alabama-Georgia game? I read all the comments and I reply back. What other games do you like this week in college football as well? Where do you agree or disagree with my simulation? Look, it's a database. It's a program. It's the computer. I don't take it personally if you disagree. I sometimes disagree with it, but I never fade it. When I disagree with it, I just pass that game. Um, But when I agree with it and the matchup favors it and there's linebacker, that's when we get our strong best bets that have gone 10-4 and in football the last couple weeks and is number one the last two-plus years in ATS Profits at wagertalk.com. 
All right, one more top 25 matchup here on the way out, and then we'll get to that bonus game. At 7.30 Eastern on NBC, we've got Illinois at Penn State. So flip back and forth. Get that remote going or get your redheaded stepchild to go up to the TV to get some exercise to flip the channel. Hey, I'm going to get some comments on that one. Every time I say redheaded stepchild, everybody but Andy Dalton gets excited. By the way, we had the Panthers last week. I wasn't afraid to fade the public in that game. And speaking of fade the public, that video will be up here for week four NFL action. Don't forget to click subscribe and click that bell for an instant alert here on Wager Talk TV. But hey, look, I'm getting distracted here. Illinois, Penn State. I like Penn State in this game. First of all, several reasons. First of all, my database simulation favors Penn State by 24 points, over 24 points on average. This line is only 18. And this is ding, ding, red flag alert. Not a redhead, it's stepchild alert. Red flag alert, public underdog, Illinois. In fact, this is one of the most public dogs I've seen the last couple weeks in college football. You know, I mentioned the NFL fade the public. We've done quite well with that over the years. This year, it's been fantastic so far the first three weeks. But in college football, we do pick our spots, especially these high-profile games. You know, last week I mentioned in my standalone solo video that Michigan, also here in the Top 25 video, that Michigan was a huge contrarian call as the public was heavy on USC. We know how that turned out. My database simulation favored Michigan outright by three. They won by exactly three. This week... We are looking to fade Illinois. They're coming off that upset win at Nebraska last Friday night. And that's why fading the public, especially public dogs, works long term because we get adjusted line value. This line is only 18. I project a 24-point win for Penn State. I think it is definitely lower than it would have been a week ago because of that upset win um, against Nebraska. And it was an impressive win on the road. They held Nebraska to just 50 rushing yards. But Penn State's a different animal. They've had over 220 yards rushing in all three games, 309 last week. And yes, that was one of the best bet winners last week for my clients at wagertalk.com. 56 nothing over a bad Kent State team. But they won't overlook Illinois in this national spotlight game on Saturday night for several reasons. First of all, it's the conference opener. They remain at home. And it's a big revenge game as well. I know they beat Illinois last year, but keep in mind, a couple years before that, they were embarrassed as a 24-point home favorite. They lost in overtime 20-18. They got the revenge last year, a couple seasons later, by a 17-point win as a 14-point road favorite. But they really have owned this series. Other than that loss, the three games before that, 39-0, 63-24, and 56-21. So Penn State has owned this series going 4-1 and one straight up in ATS the last five. And I think there's more of the same, and we get line value on top of that. Fade this public dog with Penn State minus 18 on Saturday night at 7.30 Eastern on NBC. All right, those are your four top 25 head-to-head matchups. There's one game that was just a bit outside for making the cut. And this is about as close as you can get because we have number 25, Boise State, hosting number 26, Washington State, who just missed out by a few points of being ranked ahead of them. And yes, Boise State is cracking the top 25 for the first time this season. That is sometimes a red flag, and sometimes those teams are due to regress a little bit. But I'm not sure that's the case here, as uh, my proprietary database model favors Boise to win on average by 10.5 points. Uh, we compare that with the current line at the Wager Talk Live odd screen, and we'll see we are getting some value still with Boise State in this price range because right now, as of uh, Thursday afternoon, I do this video, Boise is about a seven to seven and a half point favorite. It was seven and a half early in the week. It's mostly sevens now. We'll see if it drops further. Could Washington State maybe be a bit of a public dog? This is a late night game, by the way, at 10 o'clock Eastern Saturday night on Fox Sports 1. So, I would hold off and wait. At 6.5 or less, you're definitely starting to get some value with Boise. I'm not sure it'll get there. Right now, it's minus 7 across the board. But once again, I simulate and project a 10.5 point win for Boise State in this game. And it's an unusual setup here. You know, Washington State doesn't play here quite often. I know they're used to the cold weather, but they're not used to as much altitude as they're going to have here in Boise and the blue turf as well. So I do think it's a legitimate home field advantage here. We get some additional line value as well. And this might be a decent spot to fade Washington State after their perfect 4-0 start, including that upset win against Washington a couple games back. Also a high-scoring shootout last Friday night on the CW network. I was cracking up because the Pac-2 is on CW. Exclusive 54-52 win as a double-digit favorite. That could take a lot out of you. They, they beat Washington as a home dog upset win or neutral field upset win. And then a barrel of escape last week on national TV, 54-52. And now they have to travel against a tougher opponent in altitude. And we get some line value. Once again, I project a 10.5 point win by Boise State. This is definitely a winner enters or stays, loser leaves top 25 matchup. But I don't think Washington State cracks it. They're currently 26, 
Boise's 25th. I think Boise State holds on to that ranking after this week. That's your late night game. A little bonus coverage for you here on the video. Hey, if you're liking the bonus coverage, if you're liking everything about it, all five games broken down for you with my projections and leans, then comment below and let me know. Let me know where you agree, disagree. What best bets do you like this week? Week five, college football, Saturday, September the 28th. Thumbs up, like the video. These free play videos, you know, if you thumbs up and like them and you comment below, I keep them coming. I, I'm fueled off the energy of the comments. I do truly read every one of them. I try to reply back to as many as I can. Also, when you subscribe, make sure you click that bell for an instant alert so you never miss this video each week. The standalone free play videos throughout the week for baseball and other NFL and college football games. And, of course, the most popular video of the week this Saturday, my NFL Fade the Public Week 4 edition. Fade in the Public has been extremely profitable so far the first three weeks. We'll see if it continues here in week four. So click that bell for an instant alert so you never miss out here on Wager Talk TV. And don't forget, if you want my personal best bets, my official client best bets for this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, huge cards for both college and pro football. 10 and 4 the last two weeks, we look to add on to the winning run, including that 31 and 11 baseball run. Don't forget about that as well. Check out my page, stevemerrillwagertalk.com, and highly consider an all-sports direct subscription to get that price down to just dollars a day. In fact, right now you buy three months, you get the fourth month for free. That works out to just over $3 a play. Or the Big Daddy, the one-year all-access, the promo code is still available. SM365 gets you over an $800 discount, gets it down to just about a dollar a play for every football, baseball, and basketball best bet for the next 365 days and nights. No matter which option you choose, Go get some best bets for this weekend and cash in big with my clients and myself. I've been doing this for 29 straight years as a full-time professional, and every play my clients get are the exact same games I'm personally using. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Don't have to memorize the promo codes. They're on the page right now, along with the daily best bets and the bonus free play. I put a free play every day. So go get that free play and check out which special package works best for you. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, and get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Follow me on X and on Instagram, at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L. At Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free betting content coming up next.